That's awesome. So you talk about um, almost an apprenticeship, as it were. So can you tell us a little bit about what you went on to from that? What were some of the, your successes in the sport? Uh, the successes were I set a record for world title defences as a cruiserweight. Uh, I made 13 successful defences, held the title for almost seven years. Uh, and it, it makes me smile. Uh, and it, you can read a lot of books. You can speak to a lot of psychologists and people like that about, about drive and ambition. I, I'm my own example, so I know what works, I know what doesn't work. So I know that if I had had 13 amateur fights when I started, this is how bad I was, and only won three, to retire as world champion, undefeated world champion, it shows how determination, focus, can turn an individual around and make, make you a completely different person. Uh, so yeah, I, I, bought, I defended my title, I won the title against Carl Thompson in Manchester, who boxed Chris Eubank twice and they were in unbelievable fights, they beat Chris. Um, if Chris had have won, I'd have, I'd have been boxing Chris. Um, so I made 30 defence of my world title, I won the European title 10 years apart before that, so, so, uh, and the British title. So I won it in my 20s, uh, gave it up, uh, the, the European title, won the British title in my 20s, gave it up. Boxed for it again in my 30s, almost 10 years later, won it, uh, uh, won the British, won the European again, then boxed the world title. So I knew my, everything had fallen into place. The problem was nobody else did. That was the only problem. And that's why I think this is the, the most important tool for any, opponent, any fighter, any athlete. And your biggest, your biggest enemy is that. Because everybody else, it's all about the hustle. You, you've got to give me an impression that you're so confident, you're unbeatable. Look at Usain Bolt. You look at him and think, oh my God, no one's going to beat this guy. He's only human. But his hustle is the best hustle going because you think, I will never beat him. And a little bit of success he gets, you think, oh, there he goes. He's a god, this guy's unbelievable. It's that, it's mental strength, mental self-belief. And, and once people grasp that, I, I say to a lot of young athletes, you're special. And you've got to embrace that. Some people feel a bit uncomfortable with that, actually saying that I'm special, embracing the special. Once you embrace your special, and you are special because not everybody can do what you do. Not everybody can, 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 can jump so high or, or, or box so well or, or swim so fast. Not everybody can do that, so you are special. You are special at that, that job, so you've got to think to yourself, now I'm special. Once you embrace that, your performances, your successes will fly high, but you've got to accept it. Don't feel ashamed of it. You're not being arrogant. You're not being a big head. You just think, you know what? I'm special. And that's what I eventually got in my head. I thought, I'm special. And I, I'm not being arrogant. You know, and then once I retired, I classed myself as a civilian. You know, people that watch this sport, I class them as civilians. I suppose it's like being in the army. You know, army, you, 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 it's a lifestyle. And everybody outside that, they're civilians. They don't get it. And being an athlete is exactly the same. It's actually embracing who you are, what you're good at. And once you start believing in yourself, then the fruits will fall out. So that confidence, that self-belief, that's kind it's of absolutely vital. It's key. It's, it's everything. It makes all the difference. Are you a coach, sports scientist or fitness trainer currently working in boxing or combat sports? Are you committed to improving your own performance and your athlete's performance? This is the Combat Conditioning Conference 2017. The first ever sports science online conference for boxing and combat sports. At Boxing Science, we're committed to providing you with the very best learning environment and we've got 12 fantastic workshops for you. You'll learn the tools, tactics and strategies used by the very best at the pinnacle of your sport. We've got strength and conditioning exercise and programs, advanced conditioning drills, monitoring tools for wellness and performance and strategies for making weight and much, much more. We will be learning from the champions as we speak to former world champion John Nelson about his career and we will gain insights to the training methods of Kel Brook and James DeGale. You'll learn from coaches that have helped develop Olympic boxers from GB Boxing and the Australian Institute of Sport and find out more about the training environment of the UFC phenomenon Conor McGregor. You'll learn the science behind their training methods and our interactive format means that we'll be able to help you apply what you're learning to your own training and performance. There is nowhere else in the world that will provide you with this amount of information in one place. Not only will this conference extend your knowledge and provide you with great coaching tools, it's also very convenient and 
has great value. Many aspiring coaches spend thousands of pounds on books and qualifications and they travel up and down the country for shadowing opportunities and coaching courses. To have all these experts in one place will save you time and money. The Combat Conditioning Conference is an investment into your career as the lessons you will learn will last you a lifetime.